Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Farutech. The official update of Stable Android 15 is now available for all the Pixel devices and many OEMs are offering their Android 15 updates for their official devices also. However, if you own an older device which is no longer supported by your OEM, don't worry. If you are a fan of custom ROMs, you will still get the updates to the renowned custom ROM developers like Derfest OS. Today we bring you the first and almost stable build of Derfest OS featuring the Nothing Phone 1, which officially only supports the Android 14 Y Nothing OS. I have provided a list of all other devices supported by the Derfest OS, so you can check if your device has received this new update. In this video, we will review all the features of Android 15 based Derfest OS, including the latest QPR2 sources. Especially, we will focus on the Nothing Phone 1 related features, so watch this video till the end. Now without further delay, let's get started. To install this ROM on Nothing Phone 1, follow these steps. Ensure your device is on any Android 14 custom ROM or on the latest Android 14 build of Nothing OS. Flash the boot image and the vendor underscore boot images via fastboot, reboot to recovery and perform the ADB side loading of the ROM. Now format data and reboot. All the other users of other devices, please refer to your device specific installation process provided on the official site. It's essential to check the about device section after flashing the new ROMs to review the details about the latest sources these custom ROMs offers. Key features of the Derface toys, the security and the kernel. The security patch of this ROM is November 2024. We can also check the change log of this build here. Kernel version is Derf Plus 5.4.280, built with the highly optimized toolchain for the better performance and the battery life. Say Linux of the kernel is enforcing for the better security. I won't waste the time listing all the essential features, they are working perfectly for nothing for one. All the sensors are functional, SafetyNet passes successfully enabling the use of the banking and the payment application. But I need to show you the device specific features of Nothing Phone which are not present in other devices. First one is the Glyph Lite. All the features of Glyph Lite are working like call and notification Glyph Flash are working and we got lots of different Glyph notification interface by the developers of this ROM. Essential notification feature of the stock Nothing Phone 1 is also working here. Except this, all other features are working, you can check them out here. Nothing camera which comes with the Nothing Cam version 12. Most of the features are working like ultrawide camera, angle modes, HDR mode, motion photos, 50 megapixel photos, portrait mode for the main camera, macro photos, time lapse, panorama, expert mode, etc. But there are some issues that we will discuss under the bug section of this video. Now we will overview all the features of the ROM that it offers. First one is the inbuilt Viper for Android. Just open the application, toggle on the master limiter, go to the setting, toggle on the legacy mode 
and now play any songs in the wiper for droid you will see the module is working properly and you will experience the new level of audio quality on your device if you ask me about the rom customization features this rom is not highly customizable but some major features are available under the system setting here you will find the gestures customizations for the navigations double tap or the single tap to check the phone i especially like the new taskbar feature available in the buttons option this feature is now so smooth we can easily access the taskbar anywhere by just swapping up on the navbar wheel we can access the app drawer anywhere using the taskbar we can also access the quick shortcuts of the taskbar applications we can use them as a split screen with any running application anytime This feature is specially useful for the large screen devices like foldables and the tablets. Next is the edge long swipe action. You can set the different activities for the edge swipe gesture and can access the different applications or the shortcuts by just long swiping the back gestures anywhere. Old school power menu customizations with the advanced reboot feature added by the developers in this build. Similarly, wake device using the volume buttons and the volume panel position changer toggles are available under the buttons customization. Some other customizations were available in the status bar setting. As ROM is official, who gets the Dreamcast OT updater for all the officially supported devices. In the display setting, who gets the pocket mode detection feature. Monet personalization is available to tune your device monet's color to the next level. Dark theme has a pure black theme, which is my favorite feature to give the pure black theme to the AMOLED display. ROM has the special setting of the screen refresh rate this controls the screen refresh rate to adapt to mode or you can force it to the 120 90 or the 60 hertz and it's actually working for all the applications even while playing the youtube videos next is the dwarf launcher it offers lots of customizations for the icons home screen app drawer recents and with miscellaneous setting i don't want to explain all them here actually i already reviewed such features already in old custom rom videos I will add the link of the video in the description from there you can check this common launcher customizations of all roms you some major android 15 features available in this rom because even if some roms are based on the android 15 They are in early stages of the development and not offers all the features but this rom has the all the major features like private space which is available in the privacy and the security setting it offers the separate space of cloner app with your own account under the app drawer which you can only accessible via your own security like fingerprint face unlock or the pin or password next is the new volume panel which offers the expanded view of all the main sound setting without actually going in the main setting of the device the new android 15 added this new special audio toggle button in the this new volume panel next is screen saver who gets the new android 15 easter egg screen saver here and you can now preview all the screen saver on the go without actually applying them which is amazing feature these are some major android 15 features now let's talk about the major bugs or the issues present in the rom first are related to the camera Slow motion video recording is not working in the ROM. Portrait mode for the selfie camera are also not working properly even if you take the picture but they would not be accessible under the photos or the gallery application. Next is the device play protect is uncertified under the Play Store. Wideband protection is showing L3 so some application may not be compatible or the Netflix like application will not stream the online content with the full HD resolution. All the sensors are working except the compass it's not correctly showing the directions of the east west north and south poles Next are the missing features some android 15 features like adaptive vibration and the android theft protections are not available in this build which are the major sensation of the android 15 Please note that this issue may or may not be present in your device you have to check them personally Except these missing features and the bugs I felt the ROM is pretty stable and very drivable. I am very glad that nothing phone one had got the big and the active developers community which will hold this device too long in the future without need of nothing tech support. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the reviews of such universally compatible ROMs for all the major devices. So you can keep your AJ device up to date. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.
拜拜。